Three of the most powerful machines you can buy today come from Dodge, and we've got them all. The Hellcat Twins and the Track Ready Viper SRT. Today, Motor Trend's going to find out which one is king. Hell no! This is roadkill! Can you believe it? Roadkill is going to be sponsored by Dodge. Yeah, like the guys who make these new Hellcat V8s and the Viper, and they gave us these cars to play with. Check it out. First up is the Charger Hellcat, the most bitchin' family car ever. The four-door with 707 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, all from a supercharged 6.2-liter Hemi V8. Then there's the Challenger Hellcat. This car is actually a little bit slower in top speed because of aerodynamics. They say it'll run around 199, but we've witnessed this car run 1080s in the quarter mile on drag radials. It'll run 1120s on street tires. And again, it's got that 707 horsepower Hellcat motor. And then at the top of the pile, the Viper GT, Dodge's hand-built supercar. Seriously, hand-laid carbon fiber, hand-painted, hand-stitched interior. We don't care about any of that because this thing has an 8.4 liter, 645 horsepower V10 and a claim top speed of 206 miles an hour. What's really funny is they also say that this Viper will get 20 miles per gallon, and I guarantee you we will not find out if that's true on this episode of Roadkill. some junk before they figure it out. Somebody at Dodge is gonna watch the show at some point and go, hey, wait a second, no! I gotta go step into my office, why? Cause you're fired! <laughs> why would you give those idiots three cars? We're pretty far out of our league with these cars and so we called in some help. Yep, our old friend Larlos Cago from Motor Trend. If I didn't know them, I'd say this is pretty intimidating. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the proper roadkill greeting. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> hey, I almost killed the dog. Come here. We brought the real talent. Of course. I'm wondering what I'm doing at the middle of an abandoned airport in Irvine. I heard you're bringing the food. <laughs> this is like uh, we want to get warmed up on the Motor Trend head to head program. The deal is we figured out Dodge is sponsoring us now. Okay. Someone at Dodge is eventually going to watch Roadkill and realize this is a bad idea. So we got to get the cars while we've got them and derby the absolute we out of them. Before they figure it out. Before they figure and it out. And we have to masquerade this as some form of head to head. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, your typical head to head uses like performance tests, subjective feedback analyzing all the data, somehow deciding a winner between the two cars. Oh no, we don't care. That doesn't sound like destroy all tires. No, that doesn't sound like destroy all tires. <laughs> I th burnout for distance is what's going to happen right now. Okay, I'm so, up for that. So there's three of us, three cars, Rochambeau for which car you're going to take. Ooh. Okay, ready? Yeah. Smash! Dang. Last pick. <laughs> ready? God, it's like dodgeball. Oh, Boom! <laughs> first pick. Boom! I'll take the Viper. Okay. Challenger. I'll take the station wagon. All right, let's go. <laughs> well, maybe you should set the pace with that. You know, a bogey here. We can do that. Yeah. yeah. I have no objection. All right, right now, we are going to test Freiburger's foot dexterity. He's going to do a burnout for distance with a dog and a small block Chevy in the bed of the muscle truck. Go for it. Where does that rank on the all-time list of uh, both best and worst? Was. Because we've never done this before. Pretty weak. I have confidence in uh, the Mopars doing better than that. <laughs> well, they're not carrying a motor in the bed either. Well, yeah, that's for traction. And a dog. The dog was helpful. For ballast. Is that the standard right there? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Five that sounds right. Ish. Yeah. Can I park this garbage and let's get to some actual tire spin. 
this point is going to be really good for you and me. Yes. To be clear, <laughs> when the tires stop spinning, you lose, right? Yes. yes. There's no chance you can bang shift that thing fast enough so that the tires spin all the way from first and second, and well, from okay. second to third. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's we will look say. at the mark on the ground. Okay. There will be a gap okay. this long yeah. in between first and second. Don't, sure. Don't lift. <laughs> <laughs> Not your transmission. <laughs> I have a strategy. Yep. I have a strategy. Okay. So the real secret here is I haven't told them how to turn off traction control. That's my big secret, big plan. Their ineptitude dealing with modern electronics should help me win. Now if I can figure out how to move the seat forward. I've written in my editorial column like four times that I want a Hellcat. Finally, they listened. They're gonna be sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. I am ashamed to admit it, but Carlos took me to school on burnouts for distance. I think this uh, first session of the burnout drag race is uh, fairly definitive as to who won. Would it you is. mind saying that? Oh no, you dominated. I'll give it to you. He cheated, yep. you dominated, yep. and I was completely stand up. What's your strategy? I left the thing in first manual and just let it hit the rev limiter and keep in it, and yeah. that actually gave me more distance of shifting to second. Now, if you drag the brakes like he did, you can go pretty can go much forever. forever. Yeah. Gee, well, I think we're gonna have to go to the video so that you can be <laughs> wrong. Did not drag the brakes even once. I hole shot at it you know, after I warmed up the tires. Yeah. I let off the brakes and let it go. <laughs> I did not use the brakes during the burnout. So the best way to do a long burnout in a Viper, if you're going for distance, put it in second, redline the engine, yep. clutch dump, and pray. Yeah. Now in the second competition, we're gonna do burnouts again, but this time it's an actual race to see who can cross the finish line with the tires on fire ahead of the other guys. technique in this car is just leave it and drive and mat it because I got way more burnout distance that time. Right, dog? Victory donut. Oh, yeah. That was quality. Second place. <laughs> yeah, Burger won that one. Yep. Absolutely. I Absolutely. put it just in drive and matted it. Look how much farther my burnout went than on my initial run. It's all strategy. I know it. I failed on the first time. I think that might be further than your Viper burnout in second gear. I just got to say, the Viper has the least amount of power here and the most amount of tire, both in terms of size and like compound. Mm -hmm. So I'm working with a disadvantage here. But your motor trend. I'm hearing Mo Motor blah, trend blah, numbers blah, are blah, always blah, faster blah. than reality, and that's what we're seeing. Who's better drivers than reality? I see, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, if you can open the hood of the Viper in less than 30 seconds, I'll just trade your cars. Is it open forwards or backwards? I don't think about Vipers. <laughs> is there a button inside? He is an expert working with cars. He built the blast okay. He you should know how to do this. Thing? I don't know. How's it open? It's the engine in the back. Is that what you got going <laughs> yeah, on here? It's exactly, exactly what, what it is. I don't know, how's it open? If you ever see a Viper in a parking lot and you want to screw the owner, you take that lever. Wow. And walk away? Don't. So as the technical advisor, Motor Trend representative here, I feel like we should talk about what we've learned in the past tests. What I've learned is uh, there's still tread on those tires. We need to devise a much more efficient test at destroying them. We run a handling test, the figure eight, you guys won't care about that at all because we actually measure G-forces and lap times and stuff. What you guys probably bye care bye. about is drifting. Bye bye smoke. Bye. So we brought in a professional Ooh. drifter, Tony. Would you come on in? What's up, guys? Hey. What's happening? He's going to teach us what to do. We're looking to destroy a bunch of tires recklessly as fast as possible, right? That's yeah. sort of the goal. Perfect. Drifting yeah. is perfect for that. <laughs> right. No killing a sentence. So I'm going to show you guys some tips, and uh, we'll throw you through a short course. You'll get three turns each, and I will judge you on your best single run. And we'll find a winner. You're the judge? I'm the judge, also. You take cash? 
No. Cars. I do take cards. I do take <laughs> cards. How about random yeah. tools? So yeah, we're all tools are tires. good. Tools are good. Tires. Yeah, we always need tires. Oh, That's right. perfect. So oh, yeah. charger? Yeah, you guys want to hop in and I'll show how it goes? Yeah, good. Dog. Come here. All right, so you want to use weight transfer and the throttle for this thing. You get the drift going, so you're going to go like this. Back around. <laughs> so it's just one F. So at the beginning when you said, so you're going to go like this, what did you actually do? <laughs> you turn the wheel so you get the suspension loaded one way, and then cut it back and hammer on the gas to get it to start to rotate. You're going to roll up, you're going to turn to the right to put the weight on the outside, and then cut it back. Steer it on the throttle, let it rotate back, let the wheel spin. I like your job. That's pretty good. The first guy out is going to be the first chump, so naturally I put my hand up for that, and I'm going to go out in the Challenger. Now, I proved the Challenger is capable of the ultimate burnout, and I'm probably not going to show a whole lot of skill in drifting, but I am going to give you a lot of tire smoke. Aggressive. No way transfer here. <laughs> well, he's got that forward 280 down. So what do we get for taking out cones? Is that an automatic DNF? No, but we'll just, but let's have like a sliding scale. We saw that. What do you want to call that one? You Not better good. improve this time. Yeah, so Not let's, let's do better than that. We should set the cones back up. I don't think he cares, because he's probably going to take him out again. <laughs> Way too fast. <laughs> wow. wow. All of them. All, right. All of them. Wow. He knows we're not supposed to hit all the cones, right? That's. I give that a 7 out of 50. Uh, would you like to reestablish some cones? <laughs> so the goal isn't to hit the cones. Oh, I thought we were supposed to wipe them all out. You did that very well. You want to go around them. Try again, sir. This time will be better, I'm sure. <laughs> it's so easy for you to talk now. I know. <laughs> it's amazing. Freiburger's last run. Here we go. Come on. You can do it. Good speed. Two on the Hey. Yeah, not, not as much head. Not too bad. That's not going to go well. I wanted to like it. I did. It's not even trying. I, I really wanted to like it. I thought, you know, hey, you made it halfway through. This is good. That's and then, good. you know. At some point, you just revert to having fun. <laughs> you just go to full high school mode. <laughs> Had it the first half. That looked good. <laughs> that run was better than the first two. Combined. Yes. <laughs> no way. Which is saying something. The last run was best, for sure, because okay. you were in a proper drift through this turn. If you'd have held that a little better, you'd basically been pretty good shape. Drifting. Yeah, drifting. You, you, you would have been drifting, almost. Carlos may have shown us up on the burnout contest in the Viper, but all of a sudden he's realizing his flaw because this car is super tail happy. And I guarantee you he's going through this course bass backwards. I not so secretly want him to fail. 10 years of motor trend testing right here. Four, five, six Ooh, he's cones. keep that one. That's pretty well, good. I suppose I should probably pick those up since he did it for me. <laughs> this part here was... It was impressive. It was solid. Right here. Like, yeah, right, right here. You know, right up until the part where you had to make the tires spin. Yeah. Would uh, look pretty good. I would say the first eighth of a second looked solid. Yeah. All right. Second shot. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a difficult yeah. car. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. It, he initiated it like super early and I thought maybe that's the key. But then, you know, backwards. I didn't finish, does that count? It was a half gainer. Is that a full run? Yeah. Not exactly. You want to take four, five, I, I don't think any of that's going to help. I don't, <laughs> I don't envy his car choice. No, the Rochambeau, 
backfiring on him right now. I want to do more. Just three runs is impossible to perfect. Well, you know? especially when you consider our lack of talent. Right. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Overall, though, <laughs> you feel inferior now? Yes. Good. To the car. Nice I to feel you guys. way better. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> so, it wasn't the most orthodox pass, but I feel the second drift, or the, the first drift going that way, it was quality. Was good. Yeah. It was good. It was better than all the other ones so far. Right. Okay. We weren't really watching because your run was over at that point, though. So, yeah. I. That's what we have on the camera. Remember how right? I did a burnout like four car links past yours and it didn't matter because it was off camera? It's kind of the same thing. Fair. This took more skill though. Ah. <laughs> that car's <is> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Last up is our smack talker, Mike Finnegan, and we know he's got some chops when it comes to hanging stuff sideways, and he's got an advantage, because the Charger has the longest wheelbase of the bunch. It's 120.2 inches, which is four inches longer than the Challenger. He's gonna have a fun time. If I'm gonna attempt to be drifting, I might as well do it with air conditioning on, because for once on Roadkill, I have it. <laughs> what do you think, weeds or no weeds? Possible. Possible? Right. Possible weeds? <laughs> Always possible. Shift, shift. You gotta put yeah. it in a different gear than that. You need second, buddy. I felt pretty good. He looked controlled. Like he didn't he didn't complete the course, but he looked very controlled throughout the whole thing. And if he could kind of put that last turn together, I think you guys well, are in trouble. You guys are in trouble. In it the wasn't transition. sliding in here though. He was. He's got to get that figured out here. too. He's got to get that figured that out. That doesn't too. count. <laughs> so I just learned something. What's that? Uh, forward with the shifter. That's not the upshift. You got paddles. Right. Yeah, yeah, paddles. That's, oh no, I'm following his advice. Let go of the wheel and let it let it spin. <laughs> Can't well, paddle. you should be in second, second, second by there. Oh, I, start, I took off in second. And then I went, and then it tapped out in second, and I tried to go into third, but I, you know, it wanted, I pushed it forward. It's backwards. Operator error. Yeah. Run two. Yeah, this is fun. That feels right. These cars are one of the greatest ways to destroy tires. These are good cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tire truck match. Yeah. They're dead. What do you think caused it? That's not hot, is it, Carlos? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know what caused it. It's an overabundance of talent. That's, you're that's, right. That's what that is. I've seen this a bunch. I know, yeah. right? Yeah, They're absolutely. Both done. Are they? Yeah. Go change it. <laughs> Break 
Briggs. Into the woods. Briggs. <laughs> he, he tried. He was aggressive on entry, but I feel like he kind of went through the turns. I'm just going to try that again. That was his third attempt. Something tells me, though, there's nothing stopping him. God, it sounds good. Yeah, blower. Get it, get flipping. Too much. Oh, oh, oh. Into the woods. Yeah. Into the port body. Around. <laughs> There's a lot of understeer there. Yeah. Well, I need like 10 more goes at it. 10, ten more. Yeah, 10? In a row. Yeah. Do we all get that? You know, I'd say the same thing about that. the Viper. Yeah, 10, 10 more attempts in the Viper, I might be on 20 it. 20 30. 20 30. Yeah. Well, you got to give us our overall ranking, though. OK. Yep. I would say it's close. <laughs> it's pretty one Political. Okay. He one wants to come back close. on the show. <laughs> one and two are pretty close. Last place for sure, Carlos. Oh! oh. Done. Last. Even though he was in the Viper. Absolutely. Doesn't OK, matter. doesn't matter. I don't oh. want to see it. That's it. I can't score you on it. Oh, you can't watch it. OK. Um, and I would say one and right behind him, too. No, I would say he definitely carried the first turn and had the hope of Absolutely. making that oh, turn. Dude, I, you I didn't like do it. I felt like I had the hope. The last run, I was like, it's working, it's working. And then, oh, wow. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> yep. Well, that's kind of what we would do for testing if we were kind of doing roadkill's bastardization and motor trend tests. Um, we've determined that I can do the longest burnouts in no. a Viper. You can do the fastest burnouts in a challenger. I still got more distance. It just happened to be after the competition. After the competition was over. Right. If we were going by that, I'd have the best drift too. But no, no. that goes to this guy. Yeah, if we're evaluating poor drifting skills. But that's kind of it. We could dyno the cars, but we don't have a dyno here. So that's kind of our day. We can strap them down. Like a drag strip. Look at that. Look what we just did. Look at the smoke. I didn't move Look that much. Look, Look actually, at the smoke like turned. Cloud leaving. So you pulled me away, and then I started pulling both of you this way. Yeah. Then the cars didn't break. That's amazing yeah. right there. It's a sweet tie job on our part. <laughs> I feel like I smoked a carton of menthols. No one's ever done that before. Never. Set in nope. records, once again on Roadkill. As a team, Larlos, Homeless Dave, and I had a pretty damn good day. We successfully destroyed 12 Pirelli tires, and we learned that Fraberger is pretty good behind the wheel. All that's left to do now is pack up, find some more tires, and hit the road for our next destination. Okay, you cannot drive this car in flip-flops. What do you do? Sandal? So we're headed out to the desert to do some more tests on the Hellcat, the Hellcat and the Viper, when Carlos calls me, because he's borrowed the ramp truck and the Gremlin for an episode of Ignition, even though I told him not to because it would break down. And as usual, we've got to go rescue it. Mike. I told you so. Yeah, you did. You were 100% you were right. No, we will fix this for you, because this is your problem, not ours. I appreciate you doing this favor for me. What had happened to the truck is that it has two ground straps and we disconnect the battery so that it doesn't drain it when it's in storage and somebody only hooked up the positive side. And so the little tiny body ground strap ended up burning through, completely leaving him stranded and helpless. 
It turns out it was a double whammy. Not only was the ground cable fried in half, but the truck was out of gas. So after we rewire the battery, I have to come back again to bring Carlos gas. And then I've got to break into the truck because the key for the gas cap is gone. Why? Because roadkill. Now you might ask yourself, what could they do that's bigger and badder than a three-way tug of war with a Hellcat, a Hellcat, and a Viper? Our next guest is gonna be Fred Williams from Dirt Every Day. So just think what we're probably gonna do next with these cars. I hear we're racing, that's why I brought my helmet. You bring enough helmets for everyone? No, my mom only got me one helmet. I don't have enough to share today. Have you ever even driven 700 horsepower before? Um, my Toyota has 717 gears, does that count? That's close. All right, yeah. perfect. So what is the plan? All right, so we have a track designed for motorcycles. Yeah. We're gonna take all three of these cars on them. We're all gonna ride together in each car, including the Viper. And right now we need a Rochambeau for who's piloting what. Oh, oh. tied up, ready? Oh, <laughs> good minds think alike. Oh. <laughs> okay, now you guys go and I'm last. Okay, you ready, sir? Yes. Oh. Yes! Your win. Oh, I'm taking the challenger. Because we've got semi-decent ground clearance compared to that. <laughs> and I don't want to be the guy to ride under the hatch of that. And you will take? Um, I will take this if I get shotgun in that. In a rare moment of failure, I lost the Rochambeau and was the last guy to pick a car, but I didn't want to drive the Viper, so watch me absolutely baffle Fred into taking that car. Sure. So we know one of us is gonna take this, right? Right. So we will Rochambeau, the winner takes shotgun in this, the loser drives this. Okay. Right? Ah! So, so that means I got shotgun. And I'm, so I'm driving that. Right, which means Sweet. I'm taking the charger. Which means I'm under the hat. The viewership has <laughs> followed this down to a T. They know exactly what's gonna happen, let's just do it. All right. Let's tie up dogs and race. I am first up in the Charger and ready to prove this is the new ultimate off-road muscle car. Aside from that rocker panel. Oops. Oops. I might have dented that a little bit. I'll totally no, bump out. Snap back in. Oh, look, look it's, it's fixed. No one will never know. Dodge will not know. Just like on the Dukes of Hazard, Dodge Charger, invincible. Yeah, completely. Look at that. We just went super cross and the car is still fine. Wait. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Handled. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I don't know, we're missing a piece. Ooh. I think it's okay. You know what? I used to say that the B-Body GM was the ultimate off-road vehicle platform, but now I've driven this. Well, yeah, it didn't have 700 yeah. horsepower, so. That's probably the problem. Wow. Let's Can go we drive jump the Challenger. Again? I yeah. want to jump it. Let's go jump something else. Your shotgun and Challenger. I win. 
Next up is Finnegan in the Challenger, and I don't really know what's going to happen on the Comparo of the two cars here. The Challenger is a little bit lighter, but I like the longer wheelbase on the Charger for what we're doing here. But one thing's for sure, Finnegan is going to go all out. All right, everybody ready? You have a reputation to uphold. Yeah, that happened to me too. Oh, so did that. <laughs> Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, 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 Back up there. Oh. <laughs> break, 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 break. Go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. oh. That's oh, hard. Get off the rim. <laughs> we got to complete the stage. <laughs> that doesn't smell good. How did I get the car with the bunk tires? <laughs> oh, right. That's what happened. <laughs> we might have to change that and let you go again. Do you smell the tire burning from spinning the wheel inside it? It's smoking right there. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and touch that? Let me get a judge's ruling. Are we changing it or keeping going? I'm going to say it's much more fun to change it. Change it? All right. Way more fun to change Let's go it. change it. that time <laughs> sounded like cracking oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, good one there nice see this is hard to sweep through Challenger is left. It's a two-door, so there's half as much to ruin. I fear. This side, oh, this side's a little oh! buckled. A little buckled. You might have uh, did a little damage to the front valence. Oh, she's on a diet. Apparently, uh. it's not designed to stuff directly into a berm at 50 miles an hour. I think it's a wow. better approach angle. It's uh, eating itself. It's like it's hungry. Other than that, I think we're good. Most of this stuff's still here. Can we just Zeus it back together? Yeah, a little super glue. <laughs> oh, look at that. Get difference. some zip ties. They're not going to even notice that. Exactly. They'll never see. That will. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that's not going to buff out. So what do you want to do? We got to make you cram into the hatch? I think that's what we agreed on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Does this even fit golf clubs? It's like a Jeep that's four inches off the ground. OK. Just keep in mind, this is carbon fiber. Don't break it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, that's not working. No, come on. I've seen Fred drive. I'm not riding back there. I'm going to take still pictures because someone's going to want to remember you. It's basically a Jeep, Fred. Next up is Fred in the Viper, and man, is he screwed. This is the lowest car. It's the most expensive car. It's the lightest car. That's why we're letting him drive it. Fred. Yes. This is a ninety thousand dollar car. Again. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, I feel totally safe now. <laughs> oh my god! Hang on, clutch it. Clutch it. Oh shit! Oh. oh my god! If the front of the car is still there, I'll be totally surprised. You got this. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was oh, that camera guy! Sorry, camera guy! <laughs> Sorry about that! <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna die! <laughs> Oh, 
Hang on. Hit it! Oh! You said don't get stuck. Reverse. There we go. Good save. Good save. <laughs> I do I eat dirt? I have a fine Corinthian leather, not so supple anymore. Ah, oh, it's perfect. It's finally broken in. You sold me on the Viper. Well, let's see if you own it. You might own this piece. This thing took a beating better than the other cars. You stuffed that nose over there. I mean, <laughs> bad. And it's fine. It's a Viper. Road tested. I told you it's road just kill like a Jeep. approved, right here. It is just like a Jeep. A Jeep with job, very Dodge. little crown clearance. I'm not paying for that detail job. <laughs> there might be a little dirt inside. Oh yeah, look at that seat. The Dude, bucket you could seat start is a, a bucket of sand. You could start a garden with all the dirt that's inside that car right now. Can I take it home? Yeah. See ya! <laughs> I believe Fred is unfamiliar with the concept of rev limiter. <laughs> I think he just enjoys it more than most. Didn't he do this to us on the sand episode too? Yep, there's more rocks this time though. Coming out of the dirt, there really is no winner, except us, Roadkill. It's unbelievable to us that Dodge is actually letting us do this. And you might look at this episode and go, why would they get these cars and do nothing but trash them? Well, basically, it's because they let us. It's because we can. I look at a lot of old movies and I ask, why did they just crash that 69 Charger? Or why are they rolling over that Hemi Cuda? Well, it's because when those movies were new, those cars were new. And it didn't matter that much. And that's kind of the deal here. You know what? Dodge will make more. So there's really only one thing left to ask. What does a Hellcat engine look like in a roadkill car? Every day, I show us how it's done. <laughs> 